Hey everyone, welcome to another Tech Tip video. Today we're gonna to talk about how to get your Windows 10 or Windows 8 machine into safe mode. Let's go over and check it out. So first and foremost, I wanna start by saying there's multiple ways to get into safe mode. The mode that I'm gonna show you today or the uh, process I'm gonna show you today is the one that I felt worked the most reliably and was the easiest to obtain. So. In the olden days, you just sit there and you'd spam the F8 key when you first turn on the computer like an OCD madman. In today's world, it's a little bit different. Operating systems are a little bit more advanced, which require a few extra steps to get into your safe mode. So what we're gonna do here, as, as you can see, we are in just your normal desktop. There's nothing special about it. And we're gonna go from here into your safe mode. So what I've actually learned today is come down over to your start menu. Go ahead and left click on your start menu. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is also left click where it says power. This is a Windows 10 machine. Windows 8 is slightly different, but the steps are pretty much the same that it doesn't make uh, enough sense to make another video. So we're gonna kinda of combine the two because they, they do operate the same. Um, so right here, we're gonna go ahead and click, left click on power. Now, what you're gonna to want to do is hover over the word that says restart. And when you do that, you're gonna to wanna to hold the shift key down and then left click on restart. What that will do is it will put the computer basically into a temporary state where uh, if you have a solid state drive and the BIOS goes through very quickly or you don't even see the BIOS, it kind of disables a uh, what they call a hybrid startup mode, which increases the speed time, uh, sorry, decreases the speed, uh, the startup time of your computer. So as you can see, it's taken us to a new menu here. Now from here, we're gonna wanna go over to troubleshoot. Left click on troubleshoot. Once again, left click on advanced options. And then we're gonna to wanna to come over here to startup settings and left click one more time. Now what this is gonna tell you, it says restart to change your Windows options such as, then it gives you a list of what you can do after you click the restart button. So we're gonna, again, left click on the restart button. What it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and shut down the computer, or I should say restart it. And then it's gonna come back and bring us into a menu that allows us to go ahead and uh, start the computer in this case safe mode so as you can see right here it says press the number to choose from the options below using the number keys or function keys f1 through f9 so if you notice on the top row here you're going to have a lot of keys that have either an f key associated with the number or it's going to have a bunch of different icons which is also uh, also called your function key so in this case we're going to want to go into safe mode with networking so that means we're going to go down the list here so that's number five we're gonna press F5 one time. That's gonna start the process of booting the computer into a safe mode. Like I said, there's a few different options. I'll go ahead and post up an article down below in the comment section or down below the fold that actually give you different other options to get into safe mode. This is the one that I just found out worked the best for me with the most or the highest reliability. So as you can see here, I've kind of sped up the video here and uh, turned it off until we're in safe mode. Sometimes it can take a, a few minutes to do so. But you know you're in safe mode when you actually have safe mode written in all of the corners and it will say the windows, uh, what type of windows and the build number at the top as well. Hey guys, hope you learned something today. Go ahead and click the subscribe button right below me here if you haven't checked out some of our other videos. They're over there on the left hand side. We do new videos every Tuesdays and every Thursdays. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.